Okay, so in the reactive form, the data are stored in the source. Okay, they are stored in the in the source and the source code in the program. Uh, so here is a example of that. Here you have your uh, on the left side is the actual template. Okay, the, the HTML. On the right side is your source code. Okay, so in the reactive form, all your data are stored inside the source. So if you have the input tag, right? The input tag takes it takes the data. The data is where is it stored? Where do you get that data from? So in a typical or a classical web uh, application, HTML form, you will see that you have to get data from the form. If you remember how we do that, we say something like, you know, document dot get element by ID. The ID is maybe a username and then dot value. You get the value from the form. That's the other way, right? That's the, that's the template driven form. But the reactive form, you don't do that because when you create that element in the source code, the data will automatically store inside that variable. You access it right away. Okay, so in that way, we say the data as the source of truth is in the, in the source. Okay, so um, here's an example of that. This is the reactive and uh, form. So here's the form. This is the temp, the view, and this is in the source. So notice that in the form, we have the one input tag, just one input. Input here, we give it a name, and then we have control name is called flight number as well. See, that's all we that's all we do here. We just the main tag, we give the name of the tag, and then we have a keyword form control name here, because now we are letting the Angular uh, controls this input. So as long as as Angular knows where this input is coming from, where it is in the template, you have entire control of this input tag and the source code. So notice how in the source code here, you create a variable called flight number, and you call it a, a constructor called form control. This control here is, has a direct uh, relationship with this form control name here. Okay, so it knows that, you know, uh, it, it's gonna go to this flight number here. And because we say this flight data dot flight number, right? Um, so you put it right in here. So notice that you control everything in the source code. You make this required. Normally you would say you put required here, right? You control the minimum length again. And the other way is you have to explicitly put here minimum length here, maximum length and an email or password type put in the tag. But in the reactive form, you put everything in the source code. You control here using functions, <clears throat> okay? In the source code only. You don't care much outside here. Whatever you control here will be um, parsed and processed and rendered to the to the view out here. Okay, so we say that in this scenario, the data, everything is stored inside the source. So the single source of truth is in the source here. So because of this variable flight number has access to that data here, then I can get the value directly from this variable flight number. I don't need to say, okay, go out to the form control called form group here, like flight form, and then find the input here. I have, I have to give an ID, ID would be flight number also maybe, and then dot value get it from here, okay? Usually you do that in the, uh, the ways uh, so far. And that is the opposite of this reactive form. And that's called the template driven form.